On today's cold email teardown, I wanna talk about how to use video in your cold emails. I got this email from Alex over at Vireo Video where he wrote this cold email, it's very short, and then he linked to this two minute personalized video. So first, let's take a look at what he has. Hi Aaron, I came across the Languin Associates YouTube channel and enjoyed your videos. I made this video for you as we have a few ideas on how we can increase leads to your business with video marketing. Link to the video. How would you feel about discussing further? Let me know and I can send over a few times for a call. Thanks in advance. So this email is fine. And that's why I don't really wanna to talk too much about the email in this video. But when you click the personalized video, I wanna talk about what you guys can do to help increase your sales from this because we've made a few sales with our personalized videos as well. Hi Aaron, I came across your YouTube channel, Laughlin Associates, and I really enjoyed your video, The Common Myths of LLCs. I wanted to ask you if you're planning to create more video content in the future. Yes. So this is where we run into the first issue, right? You've got a solid cold email, but then when you jump into the actual video itself, it's almost like you're reading a cold email out loud. I came across your YouTube channel, Laughlin Associates, and I really enjoyed your video, The Common Myths About LLCs. I wanted to ask you if you're planning to create more video content in the future. If so, maybe we can help. Uh, my name is Alex and I run Vireo. It's an online video marketing agency where we work with our partners to create engaging video content and content strategies that deliver results. Uh, there's a huge opportunity with you right now in your organization to really establish yourself as a market leader. You've been around for a very long time and video is a fantastic. So the issue I have with this is it's a two minute long personalized video, but he's still reading from a script. There's no reason that he has to actually be reading from a script when he's riffing on this video. And I'll I'll go through this in a second and I'll have a better version of this exact video at the end of this. But if you compare this to one video that we did that actually got a client, the teardown of Soften. Mobile apps shops are a dime a dozen. You are going to face a lot of hurdles with your cold emails. What I'm doing here is, one, we start with a bunch of personalization. So you'll see in that clip that it's extremely customized. There's no way I'm reading off of the script in that video. I'm also looking directly at the camera. So let's keep watching platform to be able to really engage with potential prospects, help attract more clients, create more brand awareness, and ultimately grow your business. If this is something that, have, that is of interest to you, I'd love to have a quick chat and discuss how we can help. Uh, we have a few ideas in mind now. We can help with the content strategy currently by looking at your channel. And uh, yeah, I look forward to connecting with you. The main thing that Alex does with his company, Vireo Video, is they do YouTube marketing. So they look at YouTube channels and give feedback based on the channels. All of these people by definition have YouTube channels. So what I would do if I were Alex is actually go over to the YouTube channel for each person, pull it up. Probably takes just as long as it takes to read the script, maybe a couple seconds longer to pull this up and then riff something for them. So basically use ScreenFlow or something like that to share your screen and make a simple video, maybe something like this. Hey Aaron, I know email is not the best way to communicate, so I came across your YouTube channel recently and I just had a couple points of feedback. I'm from a YouTube marketing company called Vireo Video, so this is the kind of stuff that we do. Obviously, you pay a lot of attention to your YouTube channel. You've got 358 subscribers, which is, is decent for your niche, but if you look at the type of content that you're making, there's a couple improvements that I would make off the bat. For instance, you've got a four minute long opening here that you're obviously using for YouTube advertising. Uh, I would cut that down and show a better example, instead of showing an ad for Lawlin, I would show a better example of the type of videos that you make. So maybe more of these talking to camera videos up here. And then also when you look into these talking to camera videos, one improvement that I'd make here as well is, one second, give it a second to load. But you're not on the hook. You're not the one that's responsible if that enterprise so one improvement that I'd make here is you're obviously hitting it hard with SEO, right? You've got all the all of the subtitles down here. You have a solid description, but if you look at the amount of views that you have, it's it's not solid, right? You could get thousands and thousands of views on a video like this through targeted advertising. That's the type of stuff we help with. Would love to hop on a quick call to discuss further. I can also send this as a printed out sheet of ideas if you're interested. Let me know. Thanks. Notice how long it took to make that video. That was in real time. I did no research on Laulin Associates and I'm not in video marketing. So Alex and his background with video marketing should be able to even riff something stronger than that. And think about that for your videos that you're sending out if you're doing this in cold emails. 
How can you create something that's customized for the client while also being easy to scale? And as you learned from today's video, that doesn't necessarily mean writing a script word for word and reading it from every client. Sometimes it even takes less time to riff and create value for somebody live. Thanks for watching the video. Feel free to like this video to encourage this type of content on YouTube. Subscribe for more B2B sales training. And if you need marketing support for your digital agency, check out experiment27.com. Thanks.